Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting question, a plus b equal to 8 and the product a times b equal to 48, we need to solve this question for a and b, so if you have your answer or your solution, you can write your solution in the comments below and then we will check our answers. So first of all, a plus b equal to a plus b equal to 8, let's raise this expression to the second power, let's see what will happen. So we have a plus b, we're gonna raise to the second power, a plus b we're gonna raise to the second power and equal to 8 to the second power. Okay, right now let's simplify this. What do we have as a result? This is a classic school formula. We have a square plus 2ab and plus b square. Okay, equal to 8 square equal to equal to 64. Uh, 2 AB, AB equal to 48. So as a result, instead of this uh, 40, instead of this AB, we can plug in 48, but uh, times 2 we have 96. So this expression equal to 96. Yeah, so we have a square. On the second position, I'm gonna I wanna write this b square. Okay, uh, not this one, but b square. So plus b square and plus 96, 96 and equal to 64. And right now the, the great and tricky moment, because it helps us a lot, from here our a square and b square, so a, a square plus b square, so this 96 we can write on the, on the right. So a square plus b square equal to, what do we have right here, 64, 64 minus 96, which is equal to minus minus 32. So it means, because right here we have a sum of two squares, so a square plus b square equal to minus 32, so this is not real, so in this case we don't have a real, a real number root. So this is like a quick tricky move, how can we check, maybe we have real number roots, maybe, maybe complex root, okay? This is, like, this is like two hints for me, right now let's try to solve it, let's write our, our solution, let's write our solution to this, uh, to this question. What do we have in the beginning? a plus b equal to 8, a b equal to 48. From the first equation, let's express our b. So our b equal to 8 minus a. Okay, so our b is equal to 8 minus a from, from the first equation, equation from here, yeah? So a b equal to 8 minus a. Right now, let's plug in this, uh, uh, instead of this b from the, in the second equation, let's plug in 8 minus a. So as a result, we have a times 8 minus a. So what do we have right here? We have we have a times, instead of b, we're going to plug in this one, 8 minus a. So 8 minus a and equal to equal to 48 equal to 48 right now let's simplify it let's, let's solve this let's solve this equation so how can we do this so we have 8a 8a minus a times a we have a square and equal to equal to 48 and it looks like this is a quadratic equation and that's it this is a quadratic equation but we need to change an order a little bit so on the first position let's write minus a square the next thing plus 8a and from here we have minus 48 equal to zero. And for better understanding, let's multiply our mm, equation by by uh, minus one, okay, by minus minus one. So as a result, we have a classic quadratic equation. So a square minus 8a and we have plus plus 48 equal to equal to zero. So a square minus uh, 8a and plus 48. Right now let's solve it. But before this, we know that our um, right here we don't have real number root. So according to this quick proof, so we can easily underline at this moment that we have only only complex root. So it means that our discriminant should be negative. Okay, so let's see. Let's check it. Okay, so from here, let's uh, use our basic method of coefficients. So a equal to one, b equal to minus eight, and c equal to equal to 48. With this method, we can find real quick our discriminant. So our discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. Okay, this our this our discriminant. Yeah, let's let's plug in each of these elements into this uh, into this spot. So let's do this. So we have b square minus 8 square minus 4 times a times 1 times c times 48. Okay, let's simplify this real quick. So we have 64 minus 4 times 48. How can we multiply it? This is equal to 192 and equal to minus 128. And as you can see, this is a quick uh, proof. Uh, yeah, we, in the beginning we proved that our question doesn't have like a real number root. And of course, with this method, with this um, with this solution, we can easily prove it because our discriminant is negative. So it means that in this part, we will have to complex roots. So let's do this. So our a first and a second, let's start. I'm going to start uh, on the on the left side. So a first and second equal to, we have minus b plus minus square root of discriminant 
and all over, all over to A. Let's plug in each of these elements into this spot. So we have minus B, minus, minus 8, yeah? So minus, minus 8, plus minus square root of discriminants of square root of 128, yeah? And all over 2 times 8, 2 times 1. Let's simplify this real quick. So minus, minus 8 equal to 8, plus minus square root of minus 100 uh, 128 how can we express this uh, 128 we can express it as 64 times 2 and times minus 1 here we can easily express it as a product so square root of 64 times 2 and times minus minus 1 and all over all over two. right now we need to know a really interesting and important um, property because when you have like square root of for example a times b in one square root sign we can write it as square root of a times square root of b so we can easily split it and right now let's do the same thing with this with this part so with the result we have 8 plus minus square root of 64 times square root of 2 times square root of minus 1 and all over all over 2 yeah equal to we have 8 8 plus minus square root of 64 equal to 8 right here we need to write the square root of 2 because we can't evaluate it and square root of minus 1 this is our imaginary uh, imaginary unit so this is our i and we divide it by by 2 right now we can easily divide our numerator by 2 okay we can write it as 8 divided by 2 plus minus 8 square root of 2 times i divided by by 2 so 8 divided by 2 equal to 4 so 4 plus minus 4 square root of 2 times i and this is our answer but right now let's check it real quick we could, we could, because we have a first and a a second so when we are talking about mm, a first we are talking about a positive sign so let's write it okay so we have a first with the positive sign equal to 4 plus 4 square root of 2 times i this is our a first and right now we're gonna find our our b first and our second, so a second equal to, we have 4 minus 4 square root of 2 times mm, i. Right now let's find our, our uh, b real quick, how, but how can we find it? Of course, let's go for example right here at this place. So b equal to 8 minus a, okay? Let's write it, that our b, I'm going to write it for example right here, so b equal to 8 minus a. So we have 8 minus a, but in our case, a minus a first so b first equal to 8 minus a first so b first equal to so 8 minus a first 4 plus 4 square root of 2 times i and when we subtract it so we have b first equal to 8 minus 4 we have 4 and the sign right here we're going to be minus so minus 4 square root of 2 times i so but as you can think this is like mm, a symmetrical thing yeah we have with the with the a when a is positive we have 4 plus 4 square root of 2 times i and 4 minus square root of 2 times i, yeah? And in this case, we will have absolutely the same thing because our b second will be 8 minus a second, but 8 minus 4 equal to 4, and with this minus we will have plus. So as you can see, we have absolutely symmetrical uh, absolutely symmetrical roots. So let's write it right here, our both pairs, and then we will check our pairs real quick. So our first pair, so a and b, we have, we're going to have two pairs equal to first pair we're gonna have like this one so 4 plus 4 square root of 2 times i and 4 minus 4 square root of 2 times i yeah? and the second pair this is our answer yeah we have 4 minus 4 square root of 2 times i right here and 4 plus 4 square root of 2 times i we have two pairs of of roots and right now let's check it real quick i don't have enough space but i i, I think you you will understand me so first of all right here we have a plus b a plus b equal to eight let's use for example like for for a thumb let's use for example first one or second one doesn't matter because we're talking about addition so doesn't matter a plus b b plus a let's use for example this one so we have four plus four square root of two times i plus 4 minus 4 square root of 2 times i equal to 8. Let's see, okay, so let's cancel this one, we can easily cancel this one and this one, 4 plus 4 equal to 8. So addition is great, addition works absolutely perfectly. Right now let's check real quick our uh, multiplication, because we have the second equation, a times b, equal to 48 and you don't need to mm, check both of these pairs because a times b we can easily change positions like b times a a times b so you don't need to check both of these pairs it works only with addition and multiplication if you have for example a divided by b you can't swap a and b positions okay because we 
mm, there is like a huge difference to third and three half okay but in terms of multiplication three times two two times three equal to six so mm, let's use for example this one so we have four plus four square root of two times i and the second pair four minus four square root of two times i and you know a lot of students mm, are confused they try to multiply mm, this expression by this parent this one by this one so they try to combine they try to mix not really to do this in a, in a basic way yeah they multiply parentheses by parentheses but in our case this is our formula a minus b a plus b we have a plus b a minus b so this is a difference of squares yeah yeah i hope you understand so this is a difference of squares so the first square so four square minus second four square root of two times i square yeah this is our formula i'm gonna write it right here because i don't have enough space so we have a square minus b square equal to a minus b and a plus b a plus b yeah we have right here our, our after formula yeah we have our two parentheses so these are the difference of squares so we have a plus b a minus b doesn't matter we have difference of squares so in this case we have 16 minus right here we need to raise each of these elements to the second power so we have four square times square root of two square and times i square first of all i square equal to minus one so with this minus we have plus of so 16 plus 16 uh, four square equal to 16 16 times 2 equal to 32 yeah so we have our our 48 so everything everything is great our root is absolutely correct of course if you if you want to practice something you can easily check our second pairs but you will have absolutely the same thing because multiplication addition is also great operations because we can swap positions we can consider it as b times a a times b and you don't need to check every every pairs of roots okay so this is my solution to this question you can see the solution once more right now first of all a quick tricky move uh, we can easily see that our root is a complex we don't have real number root and of course a lot of students mm, might be thinking that we don't need to solve this question but as you can see with the few manipulations with the method of substitution we express mm, b and plug it into the into the second equation and we solve this Mm, solve this uh, solve this part and as you can see we, we proved that our root are are great so i don't have enough space so i'm gonna write our answer right here so our answer i'm gonna underline it right here at this place so this is our answer to this question two pairs of root first pair and the second uh, the second pair so thank you everyone for your time take care of yourself have a great day write your thoughts write your response in the comments below what do you think about this question and see you in the next videos have a great day and take care of yourself